Okay, so today then, folks, I'm here uh, with the wonderful Hank de Bruin. And Hank de Bruin is the, uh, the CEO and the co-owner of the Dog Sledding Tours from Ontario, uh, Canada. And he's here today now to ask a few, answer a few questions about the ideal customer avatar uh, for his uh, company, which is called Winter Dance, which he runs uh, with his lovely wife, uh, Tanya McCready, who we're going to hear from in a few moments. So then, Tank, uh, Hank, if I can start off by asking you a few questions uh, there to get to know about you, your company and your target audience. Uh, so, for example, first and foremost, uh, what would be the ideal age range for somebody coming on these dog sledding tours? Our ideal age range would be from mid 20s to probably mid 50s, mid 60s. Um, we set we set the pace of the tour according to what the person is capable of doing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's just as long as, as long as you love dogs and love the wilderness and don't mind a little bit of cold weather, a little bit of snow on your face, you're we're good to go. <laughs> Very good. And uh, there, what's the oldest and the youngest people there that you've ever had on one of these tours, Hank? The oldest person was a hundred year old individual who came wow. with her family, um, wow. absolutely had a blast. It was on her bucket list to do and she did it, which we were all very impressed with. Congratulations. Um, the, young, the youngest was probably under two, two years old, came with her parents and rode with mom in the basket. So, and dad drove the team. Um, we'd recommend, for, uh, we recommend kids be five, four to five, the cold can be a problem with small children if, if they're not dressed properly and they can't move around a lot. So mm -hmm. we definitely recommend four to five to be the youngest age that a child comes out with. Okay, excellent. And what sort of countries, like obviously uh, pre-COVID, uh, pre-coronavirus, uh, what sort of countries there have you entertained guests from? We've took out people from around the world. Um, yeah, Europe is a huge pull for us. Uh, airlines from Europe and Belgium and I guess where else? Australia. Australia is a huge number of folks come from Australia. Wow. South Africa. Um, we've had people from Fargo Islands. We've had people from, from Hawaii. We've had people from all over the world come and I absolutely love it. Excellent. 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 There, that is that is truly amazing. Okay. Uh, there and Next up then, what sort of job titles there can, can you remember? You've obviously had so many people from all over the world with such a range of job titles, uh, but can you remember uh, maybe some of them uh, off the top of your head? Uh, office workers, airline stewardess, farmers, welders, people who work with their hands, people who work in the bush. Um, we find we find it leans more towards people that work in the city, work in the office, because people that work in the bush are in the bush all the time, or people that work on farms or are farmers are outside all the time. So when it's their downtime, they'd rather be inside, I think. But, but we've, had, we've had people from all walks of life come out with us and, and really enjoyed it. Wow. Our goal around here is, is uh, every night the dogs come home with a smile on their face and the people leave with a smile on their face. So that's our biggest goal. If we have that, we've had a good day. That is truly excellent. That is truly excellent. Okay, 